In this video, we'll talk about some of the applications of computer vision and how you can come up with some applications yourself. What about sifting through videos? Have you ever tried looking for a particular scene of a movie, but had to fast forward to skip around until you could find it? Or what about your own videos? What if they could be searchable? IBM created an example of how you could do this by tagging videos with keywords based on the objects that appear in each scene. Now imagine being that security company who's asking to look for a suspect in a blue van amongst hours and hours of footage. With computer vision and object recognition, searching through videos has become a thing of the past. Now, other companies like insurance and civil engineering companies may have a completely set of different problems they want to tackle. Take, for example, these electric towers, which require some degree of maintenance to check for degrees of rust and other structural defects. Certainly, manually climbing up the tower to scour every inch and corner would be extremely time-consuming and costly. Flying a drone with wires around doesn't sound particularly safe either. So how could you apply computer vision here? Well, imagine that if you, a person on the ground, took high-resolution images from different angles, then a computer vision specialist could cut up the images into a grid of smaller images. With each of the smaller images, you could then develop a custom image classifier that detects the presence of metal structure versus other structure versus non-metal objects. With this custom metal classifier, you could then determine which areas of the image contain metal, but that wouldn't be enough to just detect metal. You could then create another custom classifier to determine the level of rust based on certain structural guidelines or criteria. So, for example, you could have grade 1 rust, which could be very minimal rust, to grade 6 rust, which would be more severe. And finally, by sending the image through the second classifier to detect rust, it could then determine the level of rust for certain areas of the image that contain metal, using metal classifiers and rust classifiers when scaled out across thousands or millions of images could save insurance companies millions of dollars. Another way to use such classifiers would be to directly map the areas of concern onto the image, like this picture of a rusted bridge. You could create a grid-like heat map to establish which areas are classified as rust on the image. Furthermore, insurance companies often have to worry about grading the severity of certain claims, which could be a little difficult for people to classify. For example, the image of the left contains small areas of damage from hail and ice pellets during a storm. And with computer vision, damage could much more easily classified. This could potentially save a lot of time and money spent in processing each insurance claim. In this video, we saw some of the applications of computer vision in action and how computer vision techniques are used across industries. Thank you for watching.